No, and and I also the timing of it. It's like, oh, that's oddly convenient. It's right when they announced the new teams. Like this is, I would be more surprised by when that Pac-12 deal comes in and what those numbers are going to be. Like that one's going to be like, oh wow, oh some of the games are going to be on gas station TV. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, but the the Big Twelve, I'm not shocked. They clearly had this plan in place, and they just needed to. Did a- you just say gas station TV? <laughs> yes. Hey man, if you want to watch, uh, if you want to watch uh, Colorado, Utah, they're going to be on the local. CW. You can watch the Flash <laughs> and Green Arrow, and whatever the hell his name is, and yeah, uh, USC or not USC, but the Pac-12 comes on after that. God bless it. Um, my point is, is though <laughs> they they were ready to announce this all at the same time. Oh, I'm sure God. that the deal was already done and in place, and. The Big 12, as much as we like, we're like, oh my God, the Texas, Oklahoma are leaving. Everybody shitting their pants over that. They were the quickest to move to replace them. They said, you know what? Screw no, we're doubt. Two big no brands. question. We're going to go take four of the best teams in all of college football over the last 15 years that aren't already in P5 conferences, and we're going to bring them in, I and we're going to hope that some of them be markets. Good. I mean, Houston's a massive market, man. So is Cincinnati. In Utah, so is Cincinnati. It's got a really rabid fan base for BYU and Florida. Like as much as I crap them on the last show, like if they could be good in the Big Twelve, they could be a TCU. You know, they could be a highly ranked Big Twelve team if if things go according to plan. And there's so many recruits there. I they are aggressive, and I still don't think I'd be sh- I wouldn't be shocked if they don't go and steal some of these these Pac-12 teams. That's the next. Well, phase. and here's another thing too. I, I like I've told you. I really think that Colorado is going back to the Big 12 or going into the Big 12, not back, but going right, into right, the Big 12. I, I really believe that they're doing that. So this is so when now that we have all this going out, my first thought is like it's always been in reference to Fox and ESPN control what they want to do with college football. Let's call it what it is because they have the money. And I just fully believe that they don't want a big two. I think that they know and everybody knows if you have a big four. And look, you know what we didn't talk about last time? How colleges are split down the middle. You know, like middle America to the East Coast. So from Kansas to the East Coast, okay, from Kansas to Maine, you have more than two-thirds of your college football teams, like the premier ones. Mm. And the two other real premier ones – out in the West Coast are going to mid, going to the Midwest, right? Like they're going to play all these teams in the Midwest. So I just think that they want a Big Four, man. And I'm going to continue to stay with that line of thinking. And I just think it's a good thing, I, Joe. I don't want a Big Two. I don't think a Big Two works. I, I really don't. So with that, being I think said, a Big Three would. I and I, I, I know this would, a, but yeah, they don't want that, man. I, I just yeah. – their actions don't line up with that. Their actions do not line – if they really wanted the Big Two, more conference expansion would be happening. And it's not happening. So, we'll have to wait and see. I, I just think it's a good thing, and I think the Big 12 is going to be okay. I don't think anything bad about it. I think they're going to be a fine, okay conference. Yeah, I, I – again, I just really think that that next step for them – they're aggressive. They are really aggressive. That next step is is going to need to be, let's steal some more of these Pac-12 teams. And, and and I, I will support that Big Four. I think we have too many P5 conferences, and I think that's what's leading to some some of the issues. Well, and there'd be less arguments not, too. Well, it's just not like everybody wants to make it like the NFL, but that's not the NFL. There's too many teams. There's there's too many it's teams, the NFL, but there's enough it's- good teams to do it. Well, if the NFL had 106, 126 teams, okay, they would have four divisions or it's, four conferences. It's more similar to the Premier League. And I, right. I still am – Greg Sankey is one of the people who's talked about this. There's a really good book. I'm blanking on what the name of the – sure I can tell you what the name of the book is. The Club, which Sankey read and talked a lot about how his, his ideas on expansion – are um, inspired by the, per, the by, right. by the Premier League, and like I really think that the be- this is probably never going to happen. But the best way for for long term success at college football is to have let's say three four massive conferences, 
And then the G5 becomes the secondary level. And then the FCS is the tertiary level. And then you can move up within those divisions. I think that, that creates more, more competition. I don't have to sit through and watch, uh, you know, Tennessee Tech. Think. Well, not even Tennessee Tech. Like, who's like just a random crap tier? Like, uh, Wake Forest, usually when they're bad. Like, I don't want to watch Wake Forest unless they're competitive. And when, when they suddenly pop up and say they move up, like, that's exciting. It's the a story only line. thing. The only thing and the thing that we got to be careful about, okay, mm-hmm. is when you say stuff like that. It's not just football that runs all this now. I know. Okay. Like, so for an example, college, ba- I'll take college baseball. Why is LSU and Wake Forest outdrawing the NBA? You know why the ACC is not going to get rid of Wake Forest? You know why the SEC doesn't get rid of Vanderbilt? Because the bottom line is when college baseball can outdraw the NBA. Yeah. Why? Why would they do that? Why would why would they do that? They're Good not point. going to, you know, like and so basketball being the same exact thing. When you have when you have a really, really on Kentucky team, like a really really on Kentucky team, Kentucky football can suck all they want to. But when Kentucky is on basketball wise, they are the creme de la creme. And people know that. That people know that, and people are going to buy in into Kentucky. Same thing with Duke, North Carolina, Michigan, et cetera. Mm. They're going to buy into that. I don't want to make the, the decisions that people, when they, when they talk about this, they think about football as the only thing that matters. Now, it does because it generates the most money. However, Joe, when, you have, when you're out drawing the NBA – the NCAA has got to pony up to those teams. I would not be shocked if LSU baseball and Wake LSU baseball and Florida bring home seven million dollars in college baseball, which is unheard of, yeah. because of the TV revenue that they made. So, with all that being said, I just think people look at it as one specific, you know, sport and don't. And Title IX is still a thing. Like, we we talk about this all the time. Title IX is still a massive deal. Like, you can't yes. get over that. So, for it to work, you would need a completely separate football entity. And that's, a, that's again, why, like, I believe that Sankey continues to pull a lot of strings in the background. And and a part of the reason what, what led to the, the inception of the Premier League was that ability to attract TV money and then, the, the, you know, the TV – TV markets and TV media companies were influencing a lot of the progression and the growth and the development of it. So it, it, it's such a complex issue. It's a fun one for the off season, but it's really difficult to sit here and project what it could be because there's so many different directions that it could go in. 